Hello, this is Bart, and welcome to another episode of Bicycle Rider TV. And today we are going to review a really cool bike called the Specialized Crossroads. And uh, right now we are in the midst of uh, the coronavirus outbreak, and we are supposed to shelter in place and, and, and social distance. And I have noticed so many more people uh, interested in bicycles that maybe didn't have time in the past or you know life was busy now that people have time they they're interested in bicycles um, I do work in a bicycle shop now and I see some of the crap people are riding um, and I hate putting it that way but seriously uh, a bike like this a specialized crossroads is a four hundred and fifty dollar quality bike that is going to stand the test of time ride nice ride comfortable and put a smile on your face and uh, I really try not to be prejudiced about uh, uh, big box door bikes but uh, what I'm seeing people ride and as they're bringing stuff into the bicycle shop what I see can't be repaired or never was made to work good in the first place uh, specialized cures with a quality bike and a comfortable bike and a very fun bike to ride so that's why I wanted to throw out the price uh, right at the beginning of the video $450 Specialized Crossroads 1.0, and it is a fantastic bike. A uh, quick story, when I take people for a test ride in my bicycle shop, I take them for a good test ride. I don't usually let people go ride by themselves because I want to be with them and, and show them what they're doing. I get on a Crossroads. I can pretty much keep up with anybody uh, on a road bike that's coming in for a test ride on a Crossroads. I can also ride slow if uh, someone's coming in to look at more of a beach cruiser bike or something. It's very well balanced. It rides very comfortably and it is sturdy. So let me just point out a couple uh, important parts of why I think this uh, is a great all around citizen's bike. This is the kind of bike that can help you gain fitness if you are looking to do that. They could just get you out in the neighborhood riding and, and do it in a comfortable way and in a way that you know you can keep doing it for years to come because this bike is not going to fall apart. Um, the frame is a premium A1 aluminum frame and Specialized has used what's called body geometry. They've used inputs from uh, uh, thousands of riders basically and also people who know the physics of the body. So they reinvented a bike around what the body needs for comfort, what the body needs for performance, and they put it into this bike. Um, it's got a nice frame. The frame is designed with a longer head tube, a kind of higher head tube, so when you're sitting on this bike, uh, you're, you're not hunched over the bars. And I see so many people on big box store bikes uh, co complaining about shoulder problems because they're, they're hunched over some kind of flat bar. The bike isn't really made comfortably. This, this bike keeps your, your, your bike, your, your back nice and straight. It keeps your arms kind of like you would be on a computer. And uh, it is just a very, really fun and easy bike to ride. And if you do want to get some fitness and put on the speed, it does that as well. It has seven speeds. It's, uh, they keep it nice and clean with, without three chain rings in the front. You only have one chain ring in the front with a nice chain protector. And pretty much that's all you need. Um, it has a turny seven speed derailleur in the back and with a seven speed derailleur this bike hits gears perfectly almost every time. You hardly ever have a miss shift or a, a shift in between gears and hear that click and this, this turny system is, is rock, rock solid. The chain is a very sturdy uh, rust proof chain and it just works very well. Up, up on the handlebars it keeps it nice and simple. Uh, you only have one gear shift that you use your thumb and your forefinger to, to switch gears. And believe me, there's so many people who come into the bicycle shop saying their bike is making noise because they're cross-chained. They've got, they've got two gear shifts, they don't know what to do, and they've got this one all the way in one gear and with this one in the other gear, and the chain is actually, instead of going in a straight chain line, everything's crossed, and you're hearing that rubbing on the derailleurs. So this bike simplifies that by just making a simple, seven speed gear system that is is super easy to use it's intuitive you don't have any confusion on the handlebars with what shifter to use so just know that this is a, a very wide gear range for for most of what people are going to need you know in day-to-day day-to-day life um the tires on this bike are very sturdy it's a specialized nimbus sport tire and i you know gary has a very good camera but it's almost uh, uh, and very impressive 
how wide and, and sturdy this tire is. And, and I'm finding a lot of people show up to my shop with a, a mountain bike style bike with um, aggressive style tires that, that you really don't need for, for most city riding. Um, I'm going to just use a caliper here and, and, and just see what these actually measure at. Yeah, it's a 45.8, so it's over 45, uh, 45 millimeters wide when you're talking about the actual width of the tire, and that's important. It's a nice slick tread. It's got a good piece of rubber on it. It's not the kind of tire that gets flats easy, um, and it's comfortable, it's sturdy, it's grippy, it's got a good footprint. There's just a lot of things that I could say very good about this bike. And one important thing for, for a new rider or someone that's looking for fitness is a seat. And this seat, I have to say, is a very comfortable seat. It's a, a you know, it's a, a body geometry, so it's a wider seat than you'd have, you know, on a little racing bike. But it's not so over padded that it causes, you know, soft tissue rubbing. Um, it's a well engineered seat. It's a body geometry gel seat with a really nice cover and it's very sturdy. It's not the kind of seat that, that you know, cracks in the sun real easy. Um, you know, it's a very good seat. The paint job they put on these bikes is superior to most bikes I see coming in the shop. Um, this paint actually has an integrative re reflectivity to it. So, um, you know, if you get caught in low light conditions, you know, you went and watched the sunset, you're riding home, this bike actually acts like a reflector. Um, speaking of reflectors, uh, if you notice on the tire, when I was speaking about the Nimbus tire, it does have a reflective strip around the tire. So there's just several good points uh, about this bike, and this is the 1.0. They make this bike in several different levels. They make it with a, a low entry. Um, you can get this bike with disc brakes, but I have to say the V-brakes uh, work very good on, on this bike. There's no problem stopping this bike. But uh, if you want a little bit more performance, you can go from a steel fork to a carbon fork, and you're still, you know, looking, uh, you know, under seven hundred dollars. Uh, Four fifty for this one, and it goes it goes up from there. Uh, let me just get, put it on the scale real quick. And this is not a lightweight racing bike, but it is still not a a heavy clunker cruiser. So real weight on this bike, uh, I'm going to guess is right uh, under thirty pounds. Um, Actually, this is better. It's, it's 27.7. So if you had to put this bike on your bike rack or something, it's not one of these heavy bikes that, that you're going to, uh, you know, have a hard time with. And when at the bicycle shop, when I'm taking bikes off a bike rack, I see what some of these big box store bikes weigh. And they're not, they're not like this. This, this is nice. So uh, if you're looking for a, a real sturdy bike on a budget, look at the Specialized Crossroads Comfort Performance and all around good value. Um, you know, we, we, we review a lot of different bikes on the Bicycle Rider. And so if you could hit the subscribe button and subscribe to us, it just helps YouTube rank us and it allows us to uh, keep these videos going. So any questions on the crossroads, let me know. But uh, as far as a value packed bike that can get you out there riding and, and getting fitness, this bike does a lot for the money and it is rock solid and sturdy. Thank you.